Hi folks, this is Anuj. In my last video, we discussed about idea of abstraction. If you have not seen it yet, then I recommend you to watch it first. The link is given in the description below. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of encapsulation, data hiding in detail. And in the journey, we are going to write our first class. Think about a small quantity of liquid. What is the color of liquid that you imagine? What is its taste? What is its density? You must have imagined the liquid in some kind of container. Which among this liquid are more protected from external contamination? Yes, that's right. These two. Why? Because there is restricted access to the liquid inside. One has to access the liquid using some kind of mechanism. In the absence of such protection, the liquid properties are at risk. Now let us talk about the place where contamination is life-threatening. The medicines must be protected from humidity and any other contamination which may change its chemical properties. In order to do so, they are covered inside a capsule. This process is known as encapsulation. So we can say the pill has a medicine or the pill which is entity has encapsulated the medicine which is property. Similarly, we can say that the container entity has encapsulated the liquid which is property. This container has two behaviors. First behavior is through inlet which allows to put or set a quantity of liquid inside and the second behavior is get the liquid through tap. So how are abstraction and encapsulation related? While modeling any real life system in terms of software, we need to identify entities, properties and behaviors. This is abstraction. In other words, Abstraction is a thought process to identify entities, properties and behaviors. This is followed by encapsulation. So encapsulation is the process of providing physical structure and mechanism to implement the outcome of abstraction. The structure is meant to protect the property from accidental or unauthorized access. In other words, abstraction tells us what and encapsulation tells us how. We have discussed that pill entity has medicine inside as a property. This is generic structure of a pill. The specific instance of a pill will have some chemical inside, for example, paracetamol. Let us model pill as class in Java and in Python language. There is a keyword class followed by class name followed by curly braces in Java where entire code of class will reside. In Python, simply a colon will do. Rest of the class content will start with indentation. No curly braces here. Now, when a pill is created in a factory, it is populated with some chemical as its medicine. In this example, same is modeled by way of constructor in Java. A constructor looks like a method, but there are some key differences. For example, the constructor has same name as that of class. There is no written type. It is automatically called when we create instance of a class. Whereas in Python, there is a special method in it, which is not a constructor. However, system calls this method internally when the instance is created. So whatever we write inside this method will be executed along with the instance creation. Note that both of them, I mean constructor and init method, are accepting chemical value from outside and assign it to property variable, which means every object created will have instance specific value. This is why these property variables are known as instance variable. Now, in Java, we need to declare a variable p of type pill followed by equal to sign followed by new keyword followed by class name followed by round bracket. In this round bracket, the initializing parameter, if any, can be passed. In Python, we can directly write variable p followed by equal to sign followed by class name followed by round bracket initializing parameter if any. Note that we need to declare an instance variable explicitly in Java. Whereas in Python, we need to attach the instance variable with self-reference. The self-reference is a reference to the instance itself, which is passed by the system at runtime to the init method as its first argument. By convention, it is named as self since it is referencing to its own object. However, any name would do. Now let us write classes for container in Java and Python language. Note that we are not writing any explicit initialization code in this class. 
This is to model the real life container which can be created without any liquid inside initially but we can set the liquid from inlet later. So we skipped writing constructor in Java. System automatically provides default implementation which we need not worry about at the moment. Notice that in Python code first argument of all instance method is self reference. Now let us create two objects of container. Let us set milk and water as liquid inside them. Once again note that self was first reference required by a method. However calling method need not pass it since it will be passed by system automatically during method call. Now let us verify if we can get two different liquids from different objects. Please pause and execute this code in your preferred editor before proceeding. I am using Eclipse editor. Now write this statement to access variable directly. Are you able to access the value? And the answer is yes. This is because access to the inside variable is not yet restricted. In Java, if no access specifier is mentioned, then by default it becomes package access, which means any class inside the package can access this member. On the other hand, in Python, by default the access is public, meaning any class can access this variable from anywhere, which also means the liquid might get contaminated accidentally or purposely. We need to restrict this access to private. The private access means only the class members can access this variable and not others. In Java it can be done simply by writing keyword private. In Python language the member name starting with double underscore becomes private automatically. So this is how we have hidden the data from unauthorized access. This is called data hiding which is a way of encapsulation. Abstraction is about hiding complexity at design level by ignoring the unwanted details and focusing on what is required. Whereas encapsulation is about hiding the information inside an object by restricting the access to the data. Let us summarize. In this video we have seen what is encapsulation, how abstraction and encapsulation are related, how to write a class in Java and Python, purpose and syntax of constructor in Java and init method in Python. We have seen how to declare a private and public instance variable, scope of private and public access specifiers. We also learned the concept of data hiding. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback comment.